good morning my outdoor crew we're gonna roll into that vlog intro and we'll be right back good morning my outdoor crew how are you doing hope this video finds you well on your Saturday morning this is gonna be a Saturday vlog um, we um, have had a problem with my GoPro setup um, I number one have to stop using voice control I can use a remote control using my phone this anyway um, I was having a little bit of an issue with losing audio and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't figure out why I'm losing audio and it wasn't all the time but it was enough that you know when I went down to Edgar Evans I had all this set up ready to go and yet I was losing audio so the only thing I could think of the only reason why I could think of that I'm losing audio was because of the GoPro uh, box you have to use for audio and what was happening is and we'll, I'll show you on the workbench here in a little bit is the cage that I was using when the cable comes out and plugs into the GoPro it was too abrupt or too sharp of a turn and what it was doing was bending the cable and such that it was breaking the connections inside the cable breaking the wires and breaking the connections and so you would that bend would be enough that after a while it would lose that connection and so you lose your audio and I noticed it on a couple videos it did to me on a couple different videos I've shot with this setup so I got to looking for a different option on mounting the microphone and holding the box and I found one and I'm gonna show it to you and everything on the workbench but this has been my problem the whole time um, I've shot several little clips uh, testing this out and it works every time and that's what I was looking for I was like man this has got to work um, I know it's not the best option but for in car driving down the road you know wanting to talk to you guys this is the best option this is not the, the best option it's the safer option of the bunch uh, so I'm not standing there sitting here holding a mic or holding a camera uh, especially my vlog camera or my trying to hold my DSLR to record um, this is the best option it's using the GoPro with the microphone you know mounted to the windshield facing me and then for the driving video parts I have another GoPro set up higher in the windshield facing the road so that you see the road video too at the same time it really worked going down to Edgar Evans because that was the first time I'd fired it up and it has another thing it was I could record the first <coughs> video the next video I went to shoot with it it wouldn't record the audio um, it happened to me too when I went when me and Chase went and his girlfriend went shooting one time and I took the GoPro and um, it did a couple times there didn't do it every time and that was the thing it was catching you know I was trying to figure out why it was doing it the way it was doing it and now I figured it out that it's just that bend in the cable but I'll show you on the workbench and show you the difference in the two cages now this cage is actually the factory cage from GoPro using a mounted slides onto that and it still allows the cage to function just like it would you know if it didn't have the microphone on it we know audio on GoPro Hero 5s are garbage until you add a microphone. And I'm just not buying anything else right now. I've got other things I want to invest in for the channel and doing that. 
um, had thought about while well, I'm talking to you, well, I've got this chance. I thought about starting a second channel. I had all the stuff lined out. Um, uh, was going to be called EDC every day. Um, but I've decided not to do that yet. Um, it's still in the back burner. Um, it's probably going to stay there. You know, Chase made some sense, you know, made some sense with me that, you know, just keep building on this channel. And he's right. Just keep building on this channel. Why, why start another channel to try to build? It just doesn't make sense. It, it's, I'll stay here. I mean, this is, this is my home. Um, but I thought I could do that, you know, and I was like, no, you know, and like Jay said, if you want to dedicate a day to, uh, one day a week to that kind of thing, I could. And I thought, well, why, why do, why do the extra work? Cause I'm, I'm doing product photography too, here and there for people. Um, Follow me on Instagram. You'll see that stuff. I may throw a picture in right now of uh, item I've been taking pictures of. And um, anyway, so we're gonna get through. I'm gonna get through talking. We're gonna go to the workbench. We're gonna take a look at this item, this uh, cage I'm changed to, and how it's holding the microphone and all that stuff. And I think it'll be a much better, much better solution. And I don't think it's gonna mess up the cord like the other one did so with all that said let's go to the work okay now we're at the bench i can show you what i'm talking about on these cages okay this is the cage i was running uh with the microphone and this is what i've gone back to which is the original gopro cage with this v vigimi v-i-g-m-i uh cage i got this one actually through b and h uh, I will leave a link down below for them. I'm not paid for them. I'm not even an affiliate of theirs. But uh, this is where I got it. Uh, they had them on a special. And I saw that and I said, I'm going to try that and see if it works better. Because I had already ordered a new mic module for the GoPro. And when you're paying 50 bucks a pop for these things, you don't want to order too many of them. The cages are 15 bucks. Okay. So... 15 or so bucks, you know, whatever it is. So no big deal, no big love loss for losing the, you know, changing cages. Now, what I'll show you is this one has a lot less drastic of a turn to get into the plug. Uh, you can see how far it is from there to here, and it's a lot less drastic. This one, you went from here to here. And I think that sharp, sharp turn going in there, and it was hard plugging it in. I will say this is a lot easier. You don't feel the stress on the cord um, for this as you did for this. And I think that's what ended up being the demise of the other mic module is making that sharp turn. It was breaking the cord, the wires inside. If you've ever dealt with electronics, you know what I'm talking about. Bending these things a lot, often, is bad things eventually it will happen um so i believe this is going to be the the new solution for my gopro in the truck when i'm driving on the road and i'm videoing with this um as you saw i mean that's what i shot it off with it was with this with this uh, module holder and what i also like about this one a little bit better now this one you just basically push this little tab right here See if I can do it. And that slid off. That's how you got the GoPro out. But you had to unplug it every time to do. Of course, you have to unplug it to get it out of this. But you don't have to move this off. Because it will still allow you to pop the case open and get your GoPro out without having to, you know, you don't have to take it off, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So there's a little bit less dismantling in the process. So that's the new go-to in the truck with the microphone on it, which the microphone's on the big camera right now. Probably gonna be buying a second microphone to plug into this one to leave it on it permanently. So if I am using the GoPro again for vlogging of any kind, I can take this off, leave the microphone, everything attached, put it on a selfie stick or something, and get to recording. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's what I changed. That's what I did. Uh, this just 
I, I think it was just too much of a drastic turn. I just, I really do. And that's what bit the dust on the other mic module. So with that said, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for a video coming out Tuesday. And we will see you then. Be prepared.